Art is something that I've uh, always been interested in doing and have always done as far as I can remember. I can remember at my grandparents' house as a little kid coloring in pictures from a comic book and selling it to my grandparents just to make a little money, but I don't know, I guess it's just something I never grew out of. My artwork is basically commentaries on society and its problems and how we deal with them. Um, it's my opinion that our society is problematic and uh, controlled, repetitive, and real competitive. So uh, my work ends up dealing with these issues in some fashion. I pretty much spend about eight hours a day here, seven days a week, and uh, if I didn't have a studio, I'm sure I'd probably be doing it in my apartment. I got my uh, undergraduate degree from Southern Illinois University in Carbondale, and it was uh, a degree in drawing. And I was drawing for six hours a day, five days a week, and I just burnt myself out on it. And I, I felt that my skills were starting to plateau. I had trouble challenging myself, and I just needed a change. So uh, printmaking and drawing have a lot of similar aspects. And for my drawing style, it transfers well on the woodcut. So it was uh, the freshness that I've been looking for with my drawing, but it still allowed me to keep up with the skills that I've worked so hard for. So it was really a, a natural transfer. I get a lot of inspiration from uh, music and television, uh, movies, mostly comedies. Um, but there's a lot of uh, contemporary artists that I get a lot of inspiration from. Uh, there's a woodcut artist named Tom Huck, uh, another one is Sean Star Wars, and uh, Michael Barnes, he's a lithographer. I get a lot of inspiration from really just uh, professors from around different parts of the country. I started in art pretty much uh, grade school. You know, you have to take art classes, and it's just something that I never got out of taking. I just took them every time I got a chance, and it, when I got a chance to do it for uh, a major in college, I kind of jumped at it and haven't turned back. In teaching a class, um, I always hope to pass on a love for the medium and a respect for the people that do it well. Because for me personally, if I have respect for somebody that does it well, then that's going to make me push myself harder in order to get up to that level. But uh, every time I teach a different class, I always end up finding out how much of the medium I don't know. Because there's a lot about teaching a class that you can teach that are skills, and there's a lot of it that's just intuition. And skills can be taught pretty easy, but intuition's a lot harder to teach. The robots in my prints are basically put there as a representative of the replacement of hum the human race, but at the same time, I'll give them human characteristics. So in a way, they're still man in robot skin, so they're kind of like uh, a wolf in sheep's clothing. The piece that I'm probably most proud of would be Self-Inflicted Malfunctions, which is a little woodcut that's about seven or eight different colors. Uh, the reason I like it best is probably because it's the most well-printed print that I've ever pulled. In order to do uh, a reduction woodcut like this is, you have to drop the block exactly the same for every run that you make. And I only printed 25 of them, expecting to, to screw up a bunch of them. But I ended up getting 21 out of edition, and they're all perfectly printed. It basically is a commentary on uh, our tendencies to do things to ourselves that in the long run are going to do harm. David and Goliath have been trying for a long time to establish a good grayscale within my black and white woodcuts. And this is the first one that I really feel like I did a good job. And it's, I, I actually just kind of think it's a funny print too. The Seven Deadly Sins of Robots basically has come from uh, an old Isaac Asimov book that I happened to pick up at the Goodwill. It's uh, iRobot, which they just happened to make a movie of. But uh, from reading that book, it's a book of short stories, and each story is about a different robot that kind of takes on human qualities, and it ends up either being the end of the robot because it has to be destroyed, or, you know, problems for mankind. So. That book was really kind of the inspiration, and I just decided to go through uh, The Seven Deadly Sins, which is a very humanistic type of uh, faults in everybody, and kind of apply those to what I think they would do for robots, what their seven deadly sins would be.
modern implants, which is a fairly big woodcut. It was really my first attempt at a bigger scale woodcut, and I have a good grayscale with the black and whites. It basically deals with um, people pushing each other to be something that they don't want to be. I work very controlled in my art, and very rarely will a print ever turn out to be something completely different than I had planned. I try not to limit where my work is going to go because I'm the type of person that doesn't really take well to being told what they can and can't do or where I need to go with something if I don't want to go that direction. So I usually tend to go by the seat of my pants and if something inspires me, something happens in my life that inspires a couple of prints, then I'll do those couple of prints and then move on to whatever inspires the next one. Basically how I start a print is I'll start off with an idea, maybe some rough sketches of what I want it to look like. But then I'll do some research, maybe find some pictures of something that's going to be in it so that I can kind of get an idea of how to form it on the block. Once I get all the images together and have a good idea of the composition that I want, I'll sketch it all out in the block on pencil, and then I'll go back over it in Sharpie um, with a real complete drawing so that it's pretty much exactly how I want the print to look like when I'm done carving it. And then from there, I'll start cutting out everything that I want to stay white and leave everything blank, like not carved at all for the pieces that I want to stay black. The tools that I use are uh, handmade Japanese tools. They're specifically made for wood cutting. Um, I mainly use just two different kinds of chisels. One's called a U gouge, where the tip of the chisel is actually in the shape of a U. The other one's a V-gouge, where the tip of the chisel is actually in the shape of a V. I have all different sizes, from like a large one down to about like a, a one and a half millimeter size one for details. And uh, I kind of switch up for just whatever would look better for uh, the type of cut that I want. Each piece, I guess, would have to have thousands of cuts. To establish a gray tone, you have to have many cuts right next to each other real close. The closer they are, the more gray it looks, the farther apart, the darker it is. So, I mean, areas, some areas I'll have, you know, thousands of little bitty tiny cuts. And once I've finished with that, I'll take it down to the print shop, uh, roll out some black ink, roll over the top of it, and squeeze it through the press. Each print, if I actually will sit down and work on it for a day straight, I can get it done in about three days for about a medium size, like 18 by 24 piece. But that's still with about eight or 10 hours a day work. So I'd say they're probably close to 30 hours to carve it out, about another two hours for printing, four hours to draw it, and maybe like a day of planning out. So really, I can, I, can get a, I can get an entire print done in a week fairly easy, of about, you know, within six to eight hours a day. I guess I've always, art's just always been something that I've done my entire life. Um, it's something that I've always loved, and something that I've always wanted to do, and uh, it never hurts to have supportive parents. I put myself into a lot of pieces because it makes it more personal to me, more about a self-portrait of more than just myself, but as maybe how I deal with my problems and issues that I have. You know, having a model is, is pretty expensive and it's a lot easier to work with yourself. And I do have a couple of pieces where I have put in some close friends of mine. The one thing that I've always wanted to do since I started doing woodcuts would be a full sheet of plywood. And uh, I've actually been fortunate enough to do that because we've just purchased a big, a, a press that's big enough to print that size. When people see my work, mostly what I want them to take from it would be entertainment because it is based in humor. Me personally, when I, when I deal with problems, I kind of tend to mask them with humor instead of facing them full force. And uh, as a society, I just feel like we end up dealing with problems 
by softening them first. The people who actually sit and think about each piece personally and as a society, maybe finding different ways to deal with those issues.